Should you use a for loop? Should you use a while loop? Overall, in the end, it won't make a difference because you can do you can accomplish the same thing with both. So I would recommend whatever's more convenient to use. If you have something to declare uh, or a value to set at the beginning, a for loop is smart. Uh, you're always checking if something, usually checking if something is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Sometimes you check for a quality, but you're always going to have to run some type of check. And then sometimes you want to increment, sometimes you don't. So if we just look at this while loop right here, uh, we can definitely turn this into a for loop. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops, we didn't grab that. Okay. So we could run this, works, whole alphabet. Uh, we could turn this into a for loop pretty easily. So I'm going to do four. Now, a lot of times I like to line it up with uh, my semicolon, space it out. Here's my condition that I need. Put that in there. Here's my, and uh, if I want, if I want to use C outside the for loop, I have to declare above, but we don't use C outside, so I can declare inside here. And then here is my increment. I'm going to go to plus plus C. Okay. Now you got to delete the old while loop, and we should have the exact same functionality. There we go. So that's how to go from while to a for loop. So you can do a while loop forever. You can do a for loop forever very easily too. Uh, for example, well, we already saw it, so we don't need an example, but here's the easiest way to do it. You can just put true right there. Uh, now the compiler is going to get mad at you. It's going to say, hey, you're running your loop forever uh, and you're never going to hit this line of code. It's exactly what it's going to tell you. Unreachable statement. Here's a horrible way to stop that from happening. You could put a break in, which will stop execution and jump out here. And of course you can go if something, then break. Uh, that's generally considered not good form. Uh, so don't put true as your, as your loop condition. Let's grab all this right here and we're gonna look at it before we run it and see what's going on. Ooh, our string broke across several lines. All right. So what is in? It looks like in, just looking, has next double is a scanner. Scanner in equals new scanner system dot in. And we've got to import something, add import for Java util scanner. Now when you add your imports, if you put a star here, it'll still grab the scanner. It'll grab everything else in the Java util library, which sometimes is useful if there's something else you need. For example, graphics work, uh, there's two graphics objects you need and you use a star, you get them both. So let's go ahead and read this. We're gonna make a scanner, then it's gonna say enter a number. Now this while loop, the condition is, does not have next double. Meaning, if there's a double, uh, this will be, uh, if there is a double, what I have highlighted will be false, uh, so it will stop running. Uh, if you do not have a double, then this will be false, but negating it makes it true, so the while loop is gonna run and it's gonna read next, and it said is not a number, enter a number. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. So we'll actually enter a number, we'll enter uh, six. All right, and it's done. We probably could, uh, next double, let's go ahead and south that. You entered number. All right. 
enter a number for you know, four point zero. Ah, we went with double. That's totally fine. Okay. Let's not enter a number this time. So I entered six. <laughs> Sixes. <laughs> uh, we probably need a space there. Uh, we'll stop. All right, six is not a number. Nine is not a number. Ninety-nine. All right, so it actually ran the loop twice. And what happened there, there's two things on the line. And uh, it's still waiting for a number. So there we go, that is a double. So this is one way to force, or, or I guess I should say to repeatedly ask until you actually get the input you're looking for. Uh, there is another, let's see, next. There's a lot of nexts in here, but I wanna get next line, there it is at the top. All right, this grabs an entire line, which is up until uh, you hit the return. So if I run this again, 99, it'll grab all of that until I hit the return. Uh, now we can enter a number, 99, there we go.